I've picked up a few things from Home Goods and I'm going to show you what I got and how I'm going to style it. I have been looking for outdoor chair cushions that are striped and look like this for a very long time. And the ones that I had my eyes on were like $80. So when I found these for a total of $17, I was extremely happy. I also found this watering can, which I really like because the spout has like a gentle pour instead of having one like nozzle and it comes out really quickly. That's what my current watering can has. It doesn't have like the gentle pour spout, so I was happy to find this. Although I do think you can find little spout add-ons that make it pour gently, but I just couldn't find one that fit my watering can. Anyway, moving on to this little guy. I thought it would be really fun to put like gardening accessories in, which I will show you later on. I got these solar powered outdoor lights thinking I could put them in the garden, but we shall see. I might return these. I'm not sure yet. I do have some in on one side of my porch, so I don't want I don't know if I want more yet, but we'll see. I just got them in case. I thought this tray was beautiful and I really wanted it to work on my nightstand, but it was a little bit smaller than I was hoping for, so we'll see if it works, fingers crossed. And then finally this huge basket, which was the main reason I went to the store in the first place. I needed a better solution to store all my bed linens and this bigger basket seemed like it would do the trick. So our first task will be transferring all the linens from my old baskets to the new basket. You can see my linens are just overflowing and this basket was too short. It just didn't work and um, I had two of them so I'm hoping it will consolidate into one but I think I might need another basket. You might be wondering, Rose, why do you have so many bed linens? One, I love bed linens and I love changing up the look. Two, part of my job is to create content for brands and a lot of times those brands are bed companies. So I have a lot of linens. Some of them I've purchased on my own, but some of them have been from projects and I do give away to my friends and family some linens that I just don't have room for anymore or have grown out of and they're always very appreciative so I hold on to the ones that um, are my current style and the ones that I kind of am moving away from get put to good use with friends and family instead of just sitting in my closet. Okay, as you saw, I could only fit the duvet covers and the sheets, the flat sheet and fitted sheets, in that basket. So I need one more little basket for pillowcases. And I changed my pillowcases a lot because I am acne prone and it is one way to reduce bacteria and therefore acne. So yes, I have a lot of pillowcases. Anyway, speaking of pillows, moving on to some chair pillows. These were the pillows that I was very excited to find and I think they will just look so cute out here. I do wish that they had another set. This was the only set of pillows. I do have four of these chairs so I kind of moved the other two chairs just around so that I could just focus on these two chairs while I styled it up. Maybe one day I'll find another set of these striped pillows. Or maybe I can just go to the brand itself and order them from the brand. I never think to do that because I always think that like if it's at Home Goods, they're not going to be making it anymore. I don't know if that's true or if that's just something I've... a story I've created in my mind. Anyway, I think they look really cute and I'm really happy that I found these. I'll also keep my eye out at Home Goods for other circular chair pillows that I think could work well with my remaining two chairs here. I do have some chair pillows already, but they're just not the color or look that I want for this space, so I will 
give my previous ones away to a good home. And to be fair, my previous ones were a hand-me-down from my sister, so it's not like I'm double purchasing here. Moving on to the watering cans, but before that, just a little cuteness moment of my veggie bed. We have cucumber, cilantro, green onions, tomato and basil, and a bunch of greens growing here. And I'm so excited to be able to one day eat these, one day very soon. But having a veggie bed is one of the reasons, oh, this is me trying to root out garlic in my like, little contraption I created out of Tupperware and chopsticks. Um, I like watering my flowers and veggies with a watering can that has a softer spout rather than like one hole because it just allows not the dirt to like not get all crazy um if you water with like an intense hose or an intense watering can the dirt just splatters everywhere so that was my reasoning for buying um the watering can with the softer spout anyway i have decided to leave my other watering can over here to be able to water that side of the house, those plants over there, so whatever. And if you think that's very lazy of me, you are correct. Moving on to my nightstand. The book I held up was a book that I'm currently reading and it's really cute. It's called Curious Charms of Arthur Pepper and I recommend it if you want a fun read. Or not a fun read, just a cute read. So this tray I was hoping would work super well but I feel like it's just a little too short or a little too long and it doesn't totally work here. It just feels like a little bit awkward. It's just not the right size. And I've tried three trays in this space and I can never figure out the correct tray here. So I might just leave the nightstand with no tray. I love me a good tray, but I think that's the best option for that piece of furniture. Moving into the little gardening um, caddy, I'm gonna put my seeds in here. This card is actually has seeds in it, so I'm gonna plant that card at some point for some flowers. These were some little um, plant tags that I had left over, so those will go in there. Some twine and my pruning shears, and then a little bit more intense pruning shears. I always keep the tags on items that I could return to make sure that I like it first, and then if it works out like I thought it would in like how I hoped it would, then I take the tags off. But I've learned the hard way that if I take the tags off immediately because I'm so excited about it and then I try it out and then it doesn't work how I thought, then I'm kind of screwed. So now I always take the tag or I leave the tags on until I'm sure that it's going to work. And then I have a tag removal happy moment if it works how I wanted it to. Okay, friends, that is everything for today. I decided I'm going to return the lights and I didn't even want to attempt taking them out of the packaging because if I take them out of the packaging, I don't think I'm going to be able to get them back in and I have to have the packaging in order to return them. So I just decided against the lights because I already have lights right out here. And they weren't going to go out here. They were going to go over... My idea was to hang them here, to there, to there, but then I realized in the daytime it might just look like so wiry, so I kind of decided I just want to leave it like it is. So that was my little purchase review and styling video. I used to do more of these, um, mostly thrift hauls but I just haven't needed anything because I kind of like I'm all set up now so I haven't been going to the thrift store as much. I also have had some family stuff going on and I just haven't been home as much um, and when I am home I'm kind of taking care of other things and not thrifting as much. Um, but yeah, I used to do thrift hauls because I did thrift 
bundles for other people and a few people have emailed me asking me if I'm going to start those up again but just with family stuff going on right now it is not a good time for me to be taking on more than I can handle so for now I'm just gonna stick to occasional thrift haul videos and home good um, haul videos so that's it for now but if you liked this do let me know and I will do more in the future it's just not going to be like I know a lot of people do hauls and styling videos a lot but I just don't find myself needing to buy that much that quickly so I don't do those videos a lot but I do think they're fun to watch I just don't like the idea of pushing like buying stuff when you don't really need to buy the stuff um so yeah I will do these when they happen naturally and I'm not going to force it anyway that is my video and I hope you have a great day